Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing the easiest and latest method to root your Google Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, it should be quite easy actually. What we need to do is first of all go into the settings application, scroll down, go to developer options, and then go ahead and turn those developer options on in the upper right hand corner. Hit OK. And then go ahead and check where it says USB debugging. So go ahead and check that and then hit OK. Allow USB debugging and we are ready to go. So uh, that's getting our tablet all set up. Now what we can do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this website right here. Shout out and thanks to Wug Fresh for this. Go ahead and you'll see Nexus Root Toolkit 1.5.2. It might be updated if you see this video 1.5.3 possibly or anything else. But anyways, go ahead and scroll down and keep scrolling down and you will see download right here. Click on this link right here and it will take you to this website. On the right hand side here, you'll see Softpedia Secure Download. Click on one of these two links here and it will download to your PC. It'll be an EXE file. You will see it in your downloads folder right here. Nexus Root Toolkit, first one. So you'll see this, go ahead and double click on it and hit run. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything set up onto your PC. So you're gonna wanna make a destination folder. Uh, the destination folder by default is just put on the C drive. That's where I'm gonna recommend you leave it. So go ahead and don't edit this. Uh, just my recommendation, go ahead and hit install. And it's going to go ahead and extract all the files, put everything needed and necessary into that uh, that destinated folder. All right, and once uh, it's installing, it goes and brings this up. Go ahead and allow it. User account control. Hit yes. And then I believe it uh, up in the upper left-hand corner of your PC, this uh, little screen pops up. Choose your current model type and Android version. Uh, go ahead and you will see um, Nexus 7, scroll all the way down, you'll see Nexus 7 tablet. So down at the bottom here, you'll see Nexus 7 tablet. The latest would be 4.1.1, so you can go ahead and select that if it's on that. Uh, so go ahead and choose 4.1.1 and hit apply. Once you hit apply, the Nexus Root Toolkit version 1.5.2 comes up right here. So here is our Root Toolkit. First of all, what I highly recommend doing is installing the drivers on your PC. So go ahead and uh, click this button. It'll be a full driver installation guide. Uh, what you can do is actually um, follow the, the prompts. You can just hit automatic driver configuration Windows 7 and then hit OK if you're ready to continue. Make sure you unplug your device. Make sure you let everything do its thing. I already have my drivers installed, so I don't need to do this. Um, but just go ahead and hit OK if you're ready to continue and follow the on-screen prompts to install drivers. If you have any other issues with installing drivers, just let me know. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Uh, but now we are ready to root our device. So once we have this uh, root toolkit open, we can actually plug in our, and you have drivers installed, you can plug in your Nexus 7 tablet now. So go ahead and plug that on in. Again, USB debugging needs to be enabled. You'll see it pop up at the top where it says USB debugging connected right there. And we are ready to go. So once it's plugged in, make sure it says your model type Nexus 7, upper left hand corner. Uh, you can actually make some cool backups if you would like to because your device is actually going to get fully wiped uh, keep that in mind, so make sure you do back up any applications you'd like and your internal SD card as well. So make sure you back that up uh, where your pictures and music and all that stuff gets backed up to because it will be wiped. Anyways, just go ahead and go to backup and it will open up this screen here. You can create some backups of apps and data and you can back up SMS, back up call logs, back up contacts, obviously with call logs you it's a tablet, so you don't have to worry about that. You can back up single applications and your virtual SD card. And there we go. So uh, you have a lot of different options. You can create a backup if you'd like to. Just go ahead if you want to back up system apps and data. I don't have anything I really want to back up, so I'm okay. But if you would like to do so, go ahead and do so now. Make any backups necessary. Or you can use any other application found in the Play Store to back your stuff up. As long as you back up your the internal storage on the device to your PC, then you'd be, you'll be good to go. 
So the first step you're going to need to take is unlocking the bootloader. So to unlock it, you'll see this unlock button. This is going to do so. Keep in mind, this is going to wipe your data and your internal storage. It's gonna do a factory reset completely of your device. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and press the unlock button. It basically lets you know, uh, unlocking your device enables it to root. Um, it's gonna be completely wiped. Apps, data, settings, everything. So make sure you're ready to continue. Hit OK to continue. It's going to check ADB and it says device so it recognizes our device rebooting our device into the bootloader so you'll see it, your uh, tablet will look like this. This would be the bootloader here. Whoop! almost dropped it. <laughs> um, checking fast boot. Down at the bottom here you'll see lock state locked. That will say unlocked after this is done and here we go. So, uh, it brings up this screen, unlock bootloader. Do you want to unlock your bootloader, yes or no? You use the volume keys to navigate, so if you decide to change your mind at this screen, press volume down, it will take you to no, and it won't unlock your bootloader, and it will reboot your phone. Otherwise, just press volume up to get back to yes, and you want to unlock your bootloader, so press the power button to select that. So press power button to select yes, and it's going to automatically unlock your bootloader for you. It should reboot your phone. You'll see an unlock padlock right there down at the bottom of the screen letting you know you are unlocked now. So it's waiting for your device to finish booting up. Again, this is going to uh, completely do a factory reset, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to boot up the first time, so just keep that in mind. Don't be a little worried if it just kinda continues to boot. See, you'll see it'll go back to this Google screen. Do not be worried because uh, it is doing a factory reset and needs to boot up. So just be patient with this boot up and I will be back. All right, so while your device is booting up, you can actually just hit OK on the screen. You can exit out of it. You don't need it anymore, but you will see that uh, your tablet gets to this welcome screen. So let's go ahead and navigate through our tablet. All right, so it brings us to the welcome screen. Go ahead and unplug your device. You do not need to put it plugged in at the moment. Uh, go ahead and run through. Obviously, you, need to, you have to set up a Wi-Fi network, so go ahead and do that as well. All right, so you'll see, got Google, go ahead and hit no, make it Google, not now. I'm not going to set anything up because I don't feel like it right now. You can if you'd like to. This is the last factory reset you're going to do unless you plan to flash any ROMs, etc. Setup's complete, tablet's ready to use. We need to turn on USB debugging once again. So go ahead and go back into that settings application, scroll down, go to developer options, turn on developer options, and then go ahead and check USB debugging once again. So go ahead and whoop, not allow Mac locations, allow check USB debugging, hit OK, and we are ready to go once again. So once you have that on, you can actually plug your tablet back into your PC. So once USB debugging is enabled again, plug your Nexus 7 back into your computer. All right, and open up that Nexus Root Toolkit once again if you haven't, uh, if you closed out of it for any reason, because we're gonna need to go back into it. So now that our device is unlocked, we can root it. Uh, what you need to do is go ahead and go into this root option. You'll see root right here. You can have two options. You have uh, an option to install Clockwork Mod, and you have an option to not install Clockwork Mod. So what Clockwork Mod does is flash ROMs, modifications, things of that. You can make Android backups. So if you are only looking for root access and that's it, go ahead and select do not flash Clockwork Mod. But if you are looking for root access, go ahead and select permanent Clockwork Mod. Keep in mind, as over-the-air updates come, if you have permanent Clockwork Mod, um, and that's it. If you're just stuck with permanent Clockwork Mod, you might not be able to uh, get accept over-the-air updates. Um, I would only recommend installing Clockwork Mod if you plan to flash ROM. So it's the only time I recommend installing Clockwork Mod. Otherwise, hit Do Not Flash Clockwork Mod. I want Clockwork Mod because I do plan to flash ROMs. I'll be doing videos on how to install ROMs along with reviewing them. So be sure to subscribe for those. Anyways, go ahead and hit the root button. Uh, it basically gives you a bunch of information on the script. Uh, it's going to root your device and permanently flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, keep in mind, do everything at your own risk. I'm just kind of quickly scanning through all of this stuff. Uh, really nothing out of the ordinary. Everything seems normal. So again, you need to be unlocked for this to work. So obviously we've already done that. And here we go. So hit OK to continue. It's going to go ahead and check ADB once again. It uh, rec recognizes our device, rebooting your device into the bootloader. Again, we recognize the screen down at the bottom left here. It should say unlocked, uh, lock state unlocked, which is good. So now it's checking fast boot. 
and device recognized once again and here we go so it's booting the modified boot image to enable privilege commands and then it's going to go ahead and flash the commands to install clockwork mod i do believe looks like our device is rebooting so it says waiting for your device to finish booting back all right looks like it booted back up and it says remounting your device with root pushing su super user all right so renaming certain files with bak extension isn't this awesome how it's doing it automatically all right rebooting our device into bootloader and it goes back into the bootloader. Now I think it's ready to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery now that we have root access. That first one gave us root access and now I believe it is going to basically fast boot uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And I was right, flashing Clockwork Mod Recovery now. Rebooting our device again. And I believe this should be the final reboot. I don't see any reason to have it reboot anymore. And it says waiting for your device to finish booting back. And it boots back up. And it says installing BusyBox now. I don't believe it should need to reboot after installing this. It might just for safe measure. And there we go. So it says automated rooting procedure is complete. Uh, so here we go. Now what we need to do is actually go to our device and do some things. Um, so again, we will, I will do that now, uh, but that's really it. You can hit OK to exit the script and then follow the rest of this method here. I'm going to go back to my tablet now. All right, so uh, I mean, once it says automated routing procedure complete, go ahead. You can unplug your device. You do not need it plugged in anymore, but we're going to need to go into a couple applications. First of all, go ahead and go into your app drawer, and you will see the Super SU application right here. You'll see that that is uh, right there, which basically means you have root access. Not necessarily just because you install it doesn't mean you have root access, but um, that's a good sign. Go ahead and go into Super SU, and it says the SU binaries need to be updated. Continue. Go ahead and continue with that. Allow the, them to be updated. It says installation success did not take long. Now, uh, what we can do is actually we'll double check and make sure we have root access. We're going to go into this BusyBox application right up here. Go ahead and tap on BusyBox, and then it should ask for root access. It's, you should be able have to grant it super user permissions, which you do. So go ahead and hit grant. And there we go. So you know you're rooted if that pops up because BusyBox is a root application. Um, again, it's going to go ahead and install BusyBox. Go ahead and press the install button down here at the bottom. Hit install and it's going to go ahead and install BusyBox on your system. It does take a little bit of time. You'll see it's uh, installing it, getting everything set up. All right, so there we go. It looks like the installation was successful. That took about a minute or two, so just kind of keep that in mind. And that's it. So BusyBox has been installed. You can back out of the BusyBox application. We don't need to be in it anymore. And that is it. So now our device is fully rooted. Um, and I mean, if you install Clockwork Mod, Clockwork Mod's there. Uh, but otherwise, we are have full root access. And that's it. So, but if you have decided to install Clockwork Mod Recovery, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick run through on how to get into it and basically just kind of do a quick review of clockwork mod recovery if you are going to be flashing rom so i'm going to do that now all right so to boot into our custom recovery you're going to need to download an application called quick boot from the play store it's free so just go ahead and go to the play store now and search for quick boot download and uh, let this application install uh, once you do so go ahead and go into it and you will see up at the top you have an option for recovery select that and grant it super user permissions and it's going to automatically reboot us into our clockwork mod recovery so let it uh let it reboot into that that should be the easiest way to do so every time and there we go you'll see down at the bottom clockwork mod recovery 5.8.0.2 right here it is a touch based recovery so you do not you need to use the volume up and down or power button it is all touch screen First of all, I highly recommend making a an Android backup. That is the first thing I always recommend doing when uh, installing a new custom recovery. So go ahead and go to backup and let it do its thing. So go ahead and make a an Android backup. This will take a bit of time. So be patient with this Android backup made and uh, do that and I'll be back once it's done. 
All right, you will see backup complete. That took a long time, so it took probably around six, seven minutes if I had to guess. I didn't really keep count, but it did take a while, so don't be worried if it's taking a decent amount of time. But anyways, let's go ahead and run through Clockwork Mod Recovery. So our first option is obviously Reboot System. Now you can tap on that, reboot our device. Install Zip from SD Card, which is where you will go to, to basically install ROMs, any modifications, etc. Choose Zip from SD Card. It will take you to your... Uh, internal storage actually you'll see I really have no files on there as I haven't put anything on there yet but uh, you can go back um, you can actually go to white data factory reset and do a factory reset which will delete everything um, obviously you'll you normally do that before flashing a ROM white cache partition backup and restore obviously we made that in Android backup if you want to restore it just hit the restore button it will take you back to exactly how your device was when you made your Android backup mounts and storage you can uh, I believe uh, just do mounts and do different things. It looks like you can't mount your internal storage while in uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery yet, unfortunately. So it looks like you can't do that yet. Advanced menu, you'll wipe Dalvik cache in there. You can reboot recovery, wipe battery stats, report error, logs, everything like that. But that's really it. So again, that's Clockwork Mod Recovery. I will be doing many future videos on how to flash ROMs, etc. on this device. I'll make a video on how to unroot as well, so be sure to check that out if you need to. And that's it. So again, uh, be sure to subscribe. That's the easiest method to root, install Clockwork Mod, all that good stuff. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.